Welcome to VTeach. Now we'll discuss about rethrowing exception. What do you mean by rethrowing an exception? When an exception is priced from try block, an exception object is created and sent from try block to catch block. In catch block, we can write some set of statements for handling that exception object. If that is handled by that exception catch block, that's fine. If it cannot handle from there, it can send it to other catch block. How it has to send it to other catch block is by rethrowing the exception that was already caught by this catch block. If an exception is raised from try, it sends it to catch block. From catch block, if it has to send it to any other catch block, it is going to rethrow that exception to other catch block. So what is the keyword used for rethrowing this exception is throw keyword is used to rethrow an exception throw keyword is used to rethrow an exception sometimes we need to rethrow an exception in java there might be some situations where we need to rethrow an exception the rethrow expression causes the originally thrown object to be rethrown thrown object is rethrown again from catch block when an exception is cached in a catch block you can rethrow it using the throw keyword throw keyword will be used to rethrow that exception an exception can be rethrown in a catch block an exception which is caught in the catch block can be rethrown by using throw space exception object name so what we are writing in this program is we are writing a small program for demonstrating rethrowing an exception which rethrows an exception after catching it we are using java.util.arrays class and then java.util.scanner class which takes inputs from the user and then class name is rethrow example we are written a method name as demo method which contains a scanner class object and then an array was declared and initialized with six values means the array indexes will be from 0 to 5. Now we are printing all the array values by using the two string method present in arrays class and then we are asking the user to enter the values for numerator and denominator for division purpose into values a and b. Now what I want to do is I want to perform division between array index and other array index so since i am not doing the array indexes directly i am not taking the array index directly i am asking the user to give the array indexes for one index for numerator and one index for denominator since i have declared the size of the array as 5 the array in 6 this array index will be from 0 to 5 you need to be cautious while giving this array indexes it should be from 0 to 5 if it is between 0 to 5 the array division will be successful if it is other than Five bit other than the values between 0 to 5 you are going to get an exception as array index out of bound exception so that's what handled here so try array index of a by array index of b if a and b are within 0 to 5 we are going to get the result successfully if anything is out of 0 to 5 from here the control transfers to array index out of bound exception and then we are rethrowing this exception by saying it as index out of bound exception by saying this as it's going to rethrow here from here to throw rethrow demo it's going to do this let's see what's going to happen in this program by executing this java c space rethrow example dot java i'm executing it as java space rethrow example so the array values were printed there 10, 20, 30, 2, 0 and 8. First of all, I will go with the correct case by giving the array values, array index values as 2 and then 1. So array index 2 is 30 and array index 1 is 20. 30 by 20, the result is 1. In this case, there was no arithmetic exception. There is no array index out of bound exception. Let's execute once again and check 5 and then 1. Array index 5 is 8 and array index 5 is 8 and then array index 1 is 10, 20 that gets printed. Now we'll give array index as 4 and then 0 as the second value. The result is 0 by 10. Let's do this in the reverse way by giving the value as 0 and then 4. So if you observe here what has happened is java.lang.arithmetic exception was printed because array index of 4 is 0 a number divided by 0 is going to generate arithmetic exception and then let's try one more example by giving the array index value as 7 and 2 
seven. We are giving an array index as seven. Your array of seven is not present. We have only array of zero to array of five. In this case, array index out of bound exception was created and it was rethrown from one place to another place. Let's go to the next topic. Next topic is throws class. What is the purpose of this throws class means? Throws is a predefined keyword which is used for handling exception. Throws keyword is used for handling checked exception. As we already discussed that there are two types of exceptions, checked exception and unchecked exceptions. The checked exceptions can be handled at the compile time by writing it beside the method name itself. Whatever the exception might be raised in that method can be watched in advance by writing it in the throws list. By using throws, we can declare multiple exceptions in one statement itself. The throw does the same thing of try catch block does. There are some cases where you need to prefer throws over try and catch. Actually, try and catch are responsible for handling the exception. Without using try and catch block also, we can enclose all the exception names beside this throws keyword so that what throws keyword will be doing is what try and catch is going to do will be done by throws keyword itself. That's the purpose of throws keyword. Throws keyword is used to handle checked exceptions at the compilation time itself. What it is going to do is it's going to it will be written beside method name and it's going to have all the list of exception names that will be handled that should be handled. What this is going to do is whatever work try and catch will be doing will be done by this throws keyword. There will be some situations where you need to write throws keyword than writing try and catch. Let's see a small program for this. We are writing java.io.star class throw example inside this we are writing a method my method which tells throws io exceptions comma class not found exception what this is going to tell is to the jvm is this my method during its compilation may raise io exception or class not found exception so it informs by advance saying that there might be chance of rising this exception so you need to be cautious while executing this if number that I have passed to this method is equal to 1, I am printing an exception as IO exception. If the number is not equal to 1, I am raising class not found exception. And then example 1 which contains main method. Inside this, I am writing try block and creating an object for throw example class. For throw example class, we are creating an object and by using that object, we are calling this obj.my method with the number 1. So from here the control transfers to this method where number becomes 1. When number becomes 1, we are telling it throw new IO exception. Since IO exception is rise, from here the control transfers to this catch block and system.out.println ex gets printed. What ex is going to print is java.lang.io exception colon IO exception has occurred. If you have written other than one any number other than one class not found exception gets printed let's see the execution of this program java c space example one dot java java dot io dot io exception io exception has occurred that first one is the name of the exception and the package name and the next one is the description of the exception since i have passed my method value as one that i o exception was raised if i pass any number other than one the class not found exception might be raised thank you